You shouldn't be getting. You nice. shouldn't be Thanks. getting dash grabbed or anything. So, before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. I am Chris T-Rex Moore. I run the Type O stream. If you're enjoying what you see, make sure you follow us here on Twitch.tv slash Type House Games. Also, uh, at Type House Games on Twitter. And finally, YouTube, Type House Games. But, getting into this right now, we have Fatality versus Scat on Omega Palutena's Temple, the Georgia Special. And would it really be a would it really be a Georgia tournament if we didn't have these two in grand finals? Uh, <laughs> definitely not. This is the last large tournament of the season. There is one tomorrow, but this is definitely the big one the to big cap one. it off. Yeah. All, cap it all off. Now, Fatality before today had lost a set. I believe before today he was 49-0, completely undefeated. Yes, in Georgia. In Georgia. You. Yeah. And then the, scat, the, the set between Scat and Fatality was 7-0, Fatality's favor. But Scat's like, nah, man, we, we oh. can't end like this. Oh. That was sickening. Scat saying, Scat saying, you will not go undefeated. I will take this tournament, and I will end the reign. And who, who else better to, oh, oh. that was such oh. good patience. Waited for him, said, all right, which side are you on? That side? All right, you're dead. And who better to have ended Fatality's streak than his r Georgia rival? I mean, who, who else could have done it, really? I they, mean, Reflex and Wrath, and Reflex. there are others, but... Yep. But, uh, again, Scat, the but most fitting. I think these two are still... When all is said and done, no matter what the PR says, I, these are the two best players in Georgia. Yeah. So... Having them duke it out in grand finals, there is nothing more fitting than that. You know, it's such a shame that Scat's so busy with school and we don't see a lot of him. And then, of course, Fatality constantly on the grind. Like, I think this is the first time we've seen him in, like, a month. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we have Fatality. No, we have Scat right now at 154%. He does not want Scat living this long on every stock, or he's not going to be able oh. to win. Okay. And we're going to see the does, edge guard. Does he have his jump? I don't know if he does. Okay, and he's going to go oh. up and okay, that's it. Yeah, very unfortunate. But 62% of extra credit, Scat not in a bad position. Absolutely not. And like I said, Fatality thrives off of little bits of momentum. And is he going to get some here? The Nair into the up air. Oh, and Scat gets out with a well-timed air dodge. Oh, good duck of the grab right there. And had he been facing a Griffin, then we may have seen the Shoryuken. It probably wouldn't have killed, but it would have been a lot of damage. And that's oh. not it. I thought that was going to be the up air knee. You know Fatality wanted it, but not to be. But he has taken a lead right now. Things start to look a little bit grim for Scat. He had a very solid start. Absolutely. If he can get another another up tilt, then he can definitely see out this stock. And if he can live as long as he lived on the first stock, then he can definitely close out. And this is a dangerous position for Fatality. He has a jump. Now he does not And not quite yet. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Scat misses the ledge, didn't have a jump, didn't have anything. And Scat had a lead. He took the first stock and built a pretty good lead. But like I said, Fatality, you give him an inch of momentum and he will take a mile. Dude, it's heartbreaking to see a game end like that. But it's okay. It's all right. We, we got more games and we have a whole other set too. Yes, you know? Scat has a ton of time to adapt. If Fatality is to take this first set, then Scat will have a lot of data and perhaps be able to take that next set. Well, that being said, Scat definitely doesn't want to take it to the next set. Oh, he, absolutely He, he not. wants to close this out as soon as possible. He wants to yeah. He wants to get this 3-1, 3-2 over Fatality, get his money, and get out of here. All right. So game two here on Town & City. This is actually a little bit odd for the two of them. Normally we see the entire set played out on uh, Omega Palutena. I don't think. No, we don't. We, don't, we only see the first game. Only at, first game. At least. Right. Uh, I mean, you say that, but I feel like there have been like three or four games in a set where they play on Omega Palutena. Sure. Okay. Um, I can I can understand why I took him here. He he probably well for one thing there's the up tilt they can kill him with super early on the yeah. stage and the up airs which are coming out now and maybe he likes the platforms resetting the platforms to avoid juggles which are gone now yeah. and he just kind of let him grab oh no the foot's oh okay he avoids that one but he still got they tell that he still got a lot of damage and we're gonna see the back air by Scat and dangerous position for. Fatality, but he gets back on, rolls in, not punished hard. All right, and that was a not a well-timed platform for. Okay. Oh no! Wow, that missed. Okay, he didn't space it right, but that could have been the stock had he spaced it right. 
And we're gonna see the back throw. Fatality with some phenomenal ledge pressure, not letting Scat breathe off stage. Oh, the Leaf Shield saved him right there. Oh! oh! The down smash. That was a clutch Leaf Shield that let him avoid the Falcon Dive in the first place, which set up for that kill right there with the down smash. You don't see that. You don't see Scat take that move out often, but when he thinks, when he's confident that he'll hit with it, it is quite strong. Yeah. So it looked like Fatality was in a little bit more uh, end lag after his up B than normal. Uh, RCO lag, recovery carryover lag is a thing. Yep. Yeah. I'm not right. going to go too much in detail about it, though. But that's fine. Fatality taking that stock right back and again in the lead. Oh, okay. And if he can get up air into down air next to the ledge or just up air knee next to the ledge, then he will definitely take this game. Oh, oh. that's dangerous. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, we not him. yet. Good DI by Scat. That move actually has way more knockback than you would think. The near? Yes. Yeah. All right, and the back air and Scat with a pretty bad deficit. He took the first stock like game one, but Griffin taking the immediately taking stat, Scat stock right <laughs> back, and you give him momentum, then it's it's hard to come back from that. Oh, oh, oh rush. rush saves him <laughs> again. <laughs> Flashback to the type of house weekly. Rush the homie, man. Rush Absolutely. has always got your back. Woo. That was oh. that was greedy. Yeah. That was really greedy. Fatality deserved all of that fist he just got to the chin. Uh, that I, I definitely don't agree with that option, but he Me he's, in, he's in grand finals That's and I'm over here, but yeah. still. That was the that was kind of for glory-ish. I don't know. Great awareness from Scat. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, but we're getting right back into it. Game three and the duck hunt. You know, uh, Fatality, one of the uh, large proponents of banning duck hunt in general in rule sex, especially here in Georgia. Uh, that being said, he definitely loves this stage. So here in game three, what do you think Griffin's going to be doing? He's got a lot of space to move around. Uh, do you think, uh, I mean, what's he, what's he going to be doing? He, yeah, he's going to have a lot of space to move around, and I, he can get a lot of damage because this – there, it's just a really long stage, so it he can just... Yep, he's carried him across right now. And having trouble landing, but that is probably the... Probably... Fatality doesn't really take much advantage of the tree. Actually, never mind. I take that back. I'm stupid. He uses that to extend the combos, but that still does give Scat a place to land. <laughs> All right, and off stage, tries to go for the Falcon Dive. Good air dodge on Scat's part right there. But we're back off stage. Fatality, amazing at... At providing ledge pressure, and that was a good spot dodge to roll to get out of there. And back to neutral. Oh, I think he went for an F smash, but the pellet stuffed it out. Oh, uh, dangerous position right now for Fatality. Ooh, okay, tried to go for the footstool setup, but Fatality able to avoid it. Definitely would have been hyped to see it, especially here. Absolutely. And the gentleman, and we're back off stage, and Fatality going for an aggressive up air. And good catching the roll with the gentleman, but. Scat recovers back to neutral, and that was not good DI on the up throw, but he's going to live anyway. And this is dangerous. He'd probably die to an up air. Okay, and again. Okay, he's not going to die for it that time. Yeah, but definitely not enough damage for the Shoryu to, to come into play. Yep. Okay, the down tilt. I was expecting a Falcon Kick right there. Falcon Kick is actually a kill move if you do it right next to them. Yeah, at the, the beginning frames. I've definitely died to it a couple times when I've played friendly with yeah. Griffin. All right, and this is so dangerous for Scat. Oh. And that's it. Yeah, Scat definitely tried to get something out, but it just couldn't couldn't come out before the jabs. So, um, Scat not doing too bad. He's just had a little bit of trouble finding his footing this game. Yep. All right. And unlike unlike the previous games, Fatality actually took the first stock this time. True. So, will we see a reverse a reverse situation of Scat taking the stock second and then winning? Not looking too good. Oh, good Ooh. air dodge read right there. And gets that stock. Only 48% of extra percent right now. But Fatality quickly trying to increase it. Oh, no. Okay, good DI there by Scat. He DI'd out to avoid the sweet spot of the knee. Yeah, it's always terrifying to get hit by an up air by. Oh, no. Okay. By good. Griffin. Uh, that's oh, it. No. No. He okay, he had a jump. Is that it? No. Fatality <laughs> <laughs> proving me wrong at every turn. Maybe uh, maybe if he had been facing the other direction and got him, you know, away from the stage, it uh, definitely could have been it, but absolutely. Knocking him towards the stage not okay. working out. That was greedy right there. Went for the 
uh, rogue F smash, expecting Scat not to expect it, but Scat just shooting his pellets and not having any of that F smash. And just runs up and does the forward throw. Not enough rage or percent to actually get the stock though. Okay, and the immediate ledge trump, but Scat had it called out and avoided it promptly. Okay, tried to go for the grab right there. And we're gonna see the back throw. Let's see, it, Scat's definitely gonna go for an edge guard right now. Oh, oh wow, good tech. good tech. Okay, and he tried to gimp. Okay, oh. the forward tilt. <laughs> he showed him his foot right quick, and Mega Man said, nah, man, I'm out. You can have it. You know, I don't think I've ever seen the forward tilt kill. Hey, man, everything's, a, like ki that. everything's a kill move at some point. Very true, very true. Uh, Scat was at, what, like 180? Something like yeah. that. Yeah. That's a heavy robot. Yeah. But when it's your time, it's your time. So, game four, where do you think we'll be going? Game four, all right. He we, well, I, we are still on the old rule set, so we, there are a couple more stages. And I think there's – is it one ban or no bans in best five? I think it's one ban. One ban. He just took it. He won on town and city. He's not going to go to Smash. Okay, we're going to see Dreamland. No, Dreamland or Battlefield is my guess. <laughs> Definitely going to one end. I, that's a place to play. He can't go back to town city. He will not take Falcon to Smashville. He is a big proponent of not letting – Falcon go there. Yeah. So it's either going to be and he already lost on FD, so it's either going to be Battlefield or, okay, okay, we're going back to FD. Uh, Scat making me eat my words. Well, again, that's going back to what I was saying earlier. I feel like they, I've seen them play entire sets on this stage. So Yes, and like I said, Scat was winning at first on this stage, but Fatality was just able to bring it back. So if Scat can play like he was playing in game one and keep his lead, then he'll be just fine. All right, catches him out of the Falcon dive and does the bread butter down throw forward air. Okay, and the reverse hit of the jabs. Falcon's jab hitboxes are interesting, to say the least. <laughs> and Griffin saying, I'm going to get this grabs eventually, and he does, and gets a good bit of damage. All right, lots of pressure, but Scat rolling out of there. I wouldn't do, recommend doing that again, because next time on that exchange, Griffin's probably going to turn around and just grab him out of the roll. It wouldn't surprise me, but, I mean, what other options would Scat have in that situation? Something more aggressive or just jumping back and pelleting. Okay, that was good. He had he oh. followed him all the way with the up air. He missed with that, that aerial, though, because uh, Peeb, Peeb's uh, phenomenal at getting the up air into I believe that's the forward air. Yeah. yeah. Oh! oh! And we've seen it time and time again. Du uh, Spot dodge? Fatality, oh. Fatality guessed wrong on that exchange, and Scat guessed right. Saw the dash grab coming. It was either going to... When Falcon's approaching you, it's either going to be with a dash grab or a dash attack. So, Scott, fortunate that it wasn't a dash attack and it was a dash grab and got the Shoryuken. And, again, has a lead on this stage. All right, good catching of the roll. And back off stage we go. And uses Rush. Good. Oh, oh wow. He jumps lit. into the blast zone. That's unfortunate right yeah. there. All right, but he has 46, a 46% lead. Uh, I mean, that's hardly a lead against Griffin. Yep. Oh. No. No. Scat. And Fatality is going to take set one of Grand Finals. And that was a really, really unfortunate way to lose that set. Yeah. But it is what it is. He has another set to play with. So he just needs to shake it off, maybe take a moment and think about it. Okay, we might just go right back in. Yeah, okay, this, no, this is a new set. So. He's laying back. Yeah, taking he's a second. I definitely like it. Sometimes you, you just need that. Yeah, Scat yeah. Does, Scat not one to go until he's usually just here. He's usually just having fun with a smile on his face. Yeah. All, All right, right, fatality. Getting some water. Fatality. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I thought he was going to go to do some push-ups, do some jumping jacks, oh get pumped. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> you, you remember what happened that final round when he did that? That man got 6 0 Did he? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Loco coming in with the tips. Uh, I think he's saying get good. Get good. Uh, quit killing yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's a, oh, definitely. Also, did you hear about what uh, Scat? You know, Scat got ten dollars for beating for finally taking a set off a of fatality. There was a bounty on his head. Who, who put the bounty out? Areem. Areem. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what Scat did with that ten dollars? What would he do? Oh, Scat's the homie. I didn't like. I saw him put money in there, but I, I didn't. I didn't see. Shout out to Scat. Yes. Scat. Scat and Fatality, two of my biggest supporters. I, I definitely couldn't do what I've been doing without them, and th they've definitely been responsible for a lot of the growth uh, I've had in the past couple months. So uh, shout out to them. Like, uh, they're definitely the homies. All right, so Loco coaching Scat up, trying to give him some advice. And Fatality patiently waiting for set two of Grand Finals to begin. 
Actually, while we have a moment, uh, shout outs to Momocon. They've been uh, they've supplied several of the setups here for Gwinnett Brawl. Uh, they have they have a large tournament coming up in May. Momocon, uh, Smash Studios is supposed to be coming out. Uh, I think I've heard tales of Abadongo and yep. Ally yep. coming through from Momocon. So if you're in Georgia and you're looking for some solid Smash Brothers, definitely hit up some Momocon. But uh, game one of set two coming up right now. All right and. Right now, we have Fatality off to a pretty good lead, 40% right now. 2 nothing. Will we see any? No, no zero death. It's hard to get a zero death on Mega Man. When he's, <laughs> yeah. just, he's shooting those pellets, and one of them is going to hit you. Yeah, the little lemons always putting in work. Absolutely. Never going to get JV'd. Oh, no. And down air, up air, nair. Lots of damage. And Scott not looking so good at the beginning of this set. Uh, those words from Loco not helping quite yet, but it's a long game, long set. So maybe Loco's wise words will come to fruition here. And starting to starting to get a little something going. All right, good grab. And Scat going to try to apply some ledge pressure, but Fatality you know, able to get back on his first try. I feel like a lot of these games are just won and lost on the edge here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Both. Both these both these players thrive at ledge pressure, and also both these characters, they're, they don't have the best recoveries. They go quite high vertically, but they're so exposable. Oh, wow, and Scout was just following him all the way. Didn't do anything, yeah. but that must have been intimidating. But I'm very hey. surprised to not see something come out. But and that down tilt. That is going to kill. Not, not us Usually not a move that people expect to get killed with, which is why Fatality probably gets so many kills with it. And the Falcon dive and wasn't worth it. Dies for it. Only 15% of extra percent was tacked on Scat, so he definitely has what it takes to bring this back. And here we go off stage. And Scat wants this edge guard. All right, the back air. Will he? Oh, uh, <laughs> that was scary for a Fatality moment. Fatality would not be denied stage access right there and said, I'm going to get back on the stage one way or another. And back to neutral we go. And wow, falling into the mind games of Fatality. He got Cody with that a lot. The run around pivot grab to catch the roll. If you have a Falcon, you the worst thing you can, okay, oh. good tech. But these two tech everything. But the worst thing, one of the worst things you can do when someone's running at you is roll away because usually that's what they want you to do. So, I'm surprised that Scat did that. No, as he is very familiar. Oh, oh good tech. Great DI also. That was great DI. Yeah. He DI'd in to the stage so that there would be floor beneath him. But this is really dangerous right now. Okay, he was he was about to eat that back air with a pellet coming through first. And this is a really, really close game one in this second set. And the back throw, lots of rage, oh. and that is it. I'm very surprised to see. He hung out there for a moment, so yes. I thought he might actually m manage to live. But Scat taking game one of the next set. Really high percent, though, lots of rage. So Yeah, these games are getting closer and closer. Absolutely. These two know each other. They know each other like the back of their hands. They are almost like brothers. So going to Duck Hunt, this counter pick. Worked out well for Fatality. Yeah, we last saw game. Scat literally get carried just across the stage in the A well, like 70% from like nares and up airs. Absolutely. And something that both of them can take it. Okay, and I don't like that, but he's not going to die for it being at 0%. So if you're going to go for it, then you probably should go for it when you know you're not going to die for it. And here we go. Just carry him across the stage. Try to end things with a knee. Not to be, but he got a lot of damage right there. And Scat trying to answer back, setting up shop. Setting up his zone game. And nice. The down throw to the raw back air. I like it. I'm actually going to tag out for a minute, guys. Okay. And my esteemed colleague is leaving me. And we're going to see Jay Treasy hop on the mic. What is up, Jay Treasy? I don't think your mic is on. Okay. Um, let me. Okay, now talk. Hello? Hello. No, wait, Hello? put it, put it, yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, so we have Griffin with a good lead right now, but he also had a good lead in game one, and Scat was able to bring that back. And he has. He has taken the lead, but can he take the stock on this edge guard? 
Nope. Wow. Falcon's roll on is so fast. It is so far too. Yeah. Goodness it's gracious. really, really hard to cover. So Griffin actually rolls on a lot more yeah. than I expect a top player, but I can kind of under Oh, that oh. was a really, really bad option. The get up attack and Griffin usually ready for that just short hop back airs and Ooh. taking down his shield a little preemptively, but no rage on Scat's end. So he is going to live. You no, know, I wanted to see Scott do the leaf shield to footstool. I haven't seen him do it like the whole time. He did it in game one of the last set. Oh, okay. But you know Fatality is looking for that. His tech game is always going to be on point. Yeah, so. but like, how are you going to tech like a footstool? It just goes straight down, you know? Well, you know, the, the thing that sets up into the footstool, oh, okay, the, lead, yeah, yeah. the leaf shield shenanigans, uh, Fatality is not going to give you many opportunities to actually set up into it. That should that's be true, it. That's true. That was a good back air, though. Absolutely. That was a back throw. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Shoot. Dang. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, the carry. And that's why Griffin likes this stage. He likes being able to just have this wide open space to just carry people across. And we're off stage. Okay, trying to go for the two frame, but Scat delaying his recovery very smartly, making it tough for Griffin to actually get the two frame. But Scat not able to land. Often oh, to go high. And my, the micro spacing coming out from the pellets, but Fatality gets in with the dash attack. Okay, ducking. Man, this duck is so good. I know. Uh, very good for avoid. Okay, I don't agree. I don't know if I agree with all this recovering high anymore. He's leaving himself very Ooh. vulnerable. Oh, we're trying to go for the rogue raptor boost. The Fatality special. He'll just go for random raptor boosts. And Falcon kicks. Oh yes. my gosh! He just tried to knee him. Hello. And again, the roll on just so hard to cover. Scat couldn't react to it, and. Griffin was just able oh, oh the down tilt and that is going to be game two fatality evening it up oh uh. All right, so now uh, another tag out. My uh, another one of my esteemed colleagues is leaving me, and we were having my Sonic brother join me on the mic. Uh, yes, this is Mr. Speedman. How are you guys doing tonight? All right, so all of these games in have been quite close, especially the first two in this second set. Oh wow! Okay, he had a jump. Fatality. He knows better not to just mash his jump. All right, getting that landing with the jab. Okay. And making it really hard for Scat to land, it's saying, you will not land. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. And four or five up airs, reads the air dodge, and gets the down air. Fatality. This is a, say, this is a, com a whole new ball game <laughs> from a winner's finals. I will take this tournament. So uh, you, you may have ended my streak, but I'm going to win the tournament, yeah, buddy talking. boy. A way of just like evoking fear out of any opponent he plays. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Even Scat. Even, even Scat. Yeah. A player who he's played, even a player who he has played for the past two years, he still can't. It's insane. And it's like. It, oh. Even Scat. Even someone. Even someone who preaches don't air dodge against Fatality. Fatality got him to air dodge. That's just the fatality effect. Man, this used to be like the grand finals of like every single, you know, Gwinnett brawl, every like monthly. It just was these two. There was no wrath. There wasn't even reflex. He wasn't going out too much. So it's kind of crazy me how like fatality is still just like has his will over Scat. And that's Absolutely. awesome to see. He, just, he still has his explosive moments. Absolutely. And, you know, usually they do have their moments of going. They do have their times going back and forth. You, Scat will win for a few months, then fatality will win for a few months. But. Right now, it's really been on fatalities. I think this season he's 8-1. It was 7-0 before today, and with the two sets that already happened, it's 8-1. So, it is, fatality has been dominant in this matchup as of late. And Scat is facing elimination in this game, this game four. So, he needs to get something together and fast, or that first place will elude him. And the fatalities tournament streak in Georgia will still be kept alive. Oh no, okay. And are we gonna see the edge guard? Okay, good tech. Oh, I'm not gonna look at the border. That's big, you know. Fatality 
is just so good at avoiding edge guards. And if you're playing Falcon, such a vulnerable character off stage, you have to be good at avoiding edge guards. And that's one of the thing, one of the many things that sets Fatality apart from the rest of the Falcons in Smash Four. Okay. For sure. All right, that was good. Using the platforms to recover. Maybe that's why one of the reasons he picked this stage. Yeah, I think for an aggressive option. Okay, that he got a lot of damage off of that exchange right there. He's gonna get the Edgar. Okay, good tech. Oh, is oh. that it? Does he have? A okay. If he has a he's a legend. What up? Oh wow, Scout let him back on. I'm not sure why. Maybe he thought that he couldn't make it back, but Definitely. he definitely made it back. But we're gonna see a back throw. We're gonna see another opportunity for an edge guard right here. All right, and the getup attack serving Griffin well right there. No, we were on. Okay, that was that almost killed though. Oh, and he goes all the way out there. Tony knows how to abuse what? that command grab more than anyone yes, I've ever seen. That is He's amazing. Really and there was nothing Scat could do about it. Mega Man, he has a similar recovery to Sonic, but he doesn't have those invulnerability, those invincible frames that Sonic does on his upbeat. He's oh, just yeah. a sitting duck. At well, least Rush sticks around, you know? <laughs> yep. All right. And the back air, not going to be enough quite yet. Is he going to be able to get this edge guard again? Oh, my goodness. That was... Sick. Scat really needed that because you really can't afford to have Fatality get too much really on you. He, he just abuses opening so well. And abuse, he yeah. can abuse rage. You know, Falcon loves that rage. Yeah. Oh, is that going to? Oh, that might be it. All right. He wants you to make sure. Vicious. He wants to make sure. They, oh, no. He's going to live. But got a lot of damage off of that exchange. The roll on. Scat has not been ready for that roll. It's at so all. hard. The, I feel like the only way you can actually punish that is if you super hard read it. Because other, other, because other than that, punishing it is just super difficult. It just happens in a split second, and it's just, you're just thinking, wait, he was just over here. Now he's over here. All right. So you, it, you definitely have to have a hard read. And what's looking hard is Scat getting back on stage, but he finally does, and the double up air. And Griffin's so close to taking this tournament. Fatality is just has complete control. He has all the momentum, complete control of the pace of the is match. And no, it's not going to be not it, quite. but I guess. Oh, again! He's going oh. for the command grab. Really, really brave stuff coming from Fatality. But. Absolutely, but he knows his character. Oh, my goodness. And again, reading the roll with the pivot grab. Do not roll. Do not air dodge against this but, man. But Mega Man does have a lot of rage. He can. He does oh. have that crouch short you. Oh. And he's got the free Tony Coincidence. But this oh, is big. Back. This is big. This is so big. Can it's he get his edge guard? Wait, hold up. Oh, no! Oh. Why? Not like this. And Scat loses the set. Lose it, and Griffin takes the tournament. Unfortunate way for Scat to go out right there. He was mounting a comeback.